Nowadays amplifying a harp is quite important if you're playing in weddings and uh, occasions where you need a bit more volume, even with orchestras. And so there are a few ways of amplifying a harp. There's a traditional way with a microphone and a stand going into an amplifier or a mixer. Uh, there are some options for internal microphones which are actually contact microphones and I've got one here. This is made by AccuSound up in um, Yorkshire and these stick on the back of the sound box so they're very unobtrusive and there's no danger of somebody tripping over the microphone and it plowing into your harp which often happens and then this strip is stuck on with double back tape in the back of the sound box then the cable comes out into a little pre-amplifier and then onto your main acoustic amplifier and I think one of the great advantages is if you're playing in a, a marquee where your sound of your harp just goes into the canvas and into the people, you're wearing your fingers away trying to get as much sound as you can and it's just hard to do. So if you can amplify it just enough to lift the sound and also if it's a very dry atmosphere you can put a little bit of reverb on with, to make it a little bit more realistic. That's quite often a good thing for a harpist to do at weddings and social occasions I think. So we use a, a transducer strip, which is a similar transducer strip for a piano. There are other people who use different methods. And if you're interested in it, you can contact us or contact harp amplification companies uh, to see what they can offer. But I would say if you're playing regularly and you're finding it's hard going on your hands, a little bit of amplification goes a long way. If you're playing with an orchestra, we recently did the harp for the Royal Harpist and uh, the orchestra was drowning the harp out so using an amplifier you could get a lead that went up to the mixing desk and the sound chap could actually in an exposed part for the harp bring up the volume and make a much better balance for the sound rather than the poor harp is wearing her fingers away she could hear with her little amplifier what she was playing but the whole audience could get a better balance of the whole picture and I think that's one of the pluses of the harp for playing jazz you can also get better definition quite often in a crowded club and that sort of thing. So with guitars, amplification is accepted and I think with harps it's beginning to get that way which can only be a good thing.